Hello, hello, dear student. Uh, this is Amir Khan, your social studies teacher. Uh, today our topic is on the industry, and uh, in the industry you will learn about what is industry, and you will uh, differentiate uh, between export and imports. Then you will uh, uh, know about the balance of payment. So. When we start our industries, it comes in our mind what is industry and industry is economic activities concerned with the processing of raw materials and manufacture of goods in the factory. Like where you are doing uh, things which manufactured uh, at the place that is called a manufacture. So there are uh, different types of industries. We are not going in detail. Just uh, uh, showing you that industries are of uh, three types. Uh, primary industry, secondary industry and tertiary industries. So these are uh, in first is of the raw material where you find in second industry you will find uh, or direct from the nature in second industry you will find manufacture then the tertiary is a fine kind of a service industries so we are not going for that but our point is on what is uh, mm, export and import so it come in on one what is export export is a goods produced in one country are shipped to another market or ship the goods and services out of the part of the countries or foreign demand for the goods produced by home countries like exports mean export mean by which a goods you are exporting to the other countries that is called a export and what is import import is the act of bringing a goods or services from a foreign countries the actual goods and service bought in for in from a uh, foreign policy like import mean which the goods or services you are taking from another country and you are taking it in or uh, into your country so this is coming on mind these are the two types which we are saying export and import are very important for the industry then we come to the balance of payment and balance of payment is means where balance is equal like export and import are equal from both countries that would be fine if there would be no any export no import that would be not uh, uh, considered to be the balance of payment so uh, if you look over here developed countries like uh, like uh, our developing countries in Pakistan we are importing like the technologies which we are taking and what they are we are exporting like agricultural goods and these types we are exporting to the other countries if there is balance it would be fine if there would be high of export and um, less of import it would be also good for the uh, for a countries to get a proper now uh, get to get a uh, mm, benefit from this if you are doing more import uh, as compared to export that would be a disadvantage for a uh, countries so like pakistan as a major uh, imports of pakistans are like we are using machineries petroleum chemical uh, vehicles uh, then weight tea fertilizer plastic material paperboard iron ore and steel and pharmaceutical products so these things we are importing from the other country so what it is also good like we are what are the ad uh, advantages like you will take from them and uh, you will fulfill of fulfill of your country's uh, need and where there are uh, less of the product you will fulfill that people's need of every like the cost will be also sustain over here then what are the disadvantages like if we will only depend we will depend on on dependent on the importing things we will not make any things with our own countries then uh, there would be uh, uh, different kinds of diseases will enter in your uh, countries then it will lead exercise of competition it also increase risk of other diseases from which the country is exporting that important uh, these are the uh, disadvantages of import so what are the uh, exports which we are doing from the other countries that are uh, which we are exporting like raw cotton textile products uh, cotton yarn rice leather uh, carpet uh, surgical sports good uh, ready made garments vegetable uh, engineering goods and chemicals and pharmaceutical pharmaceutical 
uh, products so these were which we are exporting to the other countries so what is the advantages like you will fulfill of your good like you are exporting the things and you will take money to their countries and you will make a development for the countries like in using of uh, different uh, development of educational level uh, in educational or in other construction in every uh, uh, department you will uh, improve or you will uh, change the way of the peoples of your countries but mostly in developing country they are depending on importing so these are the disadvantages i have shared with you like disadvantages extra cost would be there when you are exporting and uh, financial risk would be also there and exports license and documents and market information like these are the types where, where it is difficult uh, or disadvantage, disadvantage for the countries so this were uh, the uh, import export and balance of payment how we make sustain of our uh, balance of payment these were that and what are the uh, balance of payment so then your home task would be on uh, you have to explain uh, the industries uh, to define the industry then you have to define the terms of export import and balance of payment and list uh, any uh, three uh, advantages and disadvantages of balance of payment like uh, uh, in balance of payment we have what are the advantages and disadvantages of export and import what are the uh, importance of uh, these for the uh, for a countries what are the advantages and disadvantages of exports and imports of our countries thank you so much for listening to me